So now Corinth, you see, yeah, is a very interesting area. There is a, a small bridge of land, uh, they call the isthmus, isthmus, connecting the mainland to this uh, pillow, pillow what, you know, peninsula, uh, I forgot the name already. Uh, so this is the isthmus that is connecting it. And this piece of land is only four miles wide, four miles wide. And four miles wide, and anybody that uh, comes, uh, uh, trade that comes to uh, the, the southern part here, they have to pass through this piece of land, number one. Number two, all those ships that go to Rome out here, they rather than going down south to go up there, they would rather reach here, and then if the ship is light, they will transfer the goods, uh, they will uh, carry the ship on rollers across the other side, and if the ship is very heavy, they unload all their goods here and then carry by men over to the other side. So this area in the Isthmus, the Corinth, becomes very, very famous, very, very popular. And lots of uh, lots of uh, people visit there, either because of uh, trading, because of uh, carrying goods or whatever. But, and whenever there are lots of people, uh, lots of people, trade will uh, will, 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 will flourish. You see, huh? so I, I was in uh, Sumprana, I was in there. They, they say that the, the Chinese tourists makes a big difference. When they come, all the restaurants, the whole town, full of them. And now, not so many, even though there are some people coming in, but not a lot. So what I'm trying to say, is when there are a lot of people around, you will need to have food, you need to have restaurant, you need a place to stay, and of course, a place to relax, and then some uh, water going down, no water, uh, no? going down, some spirits uh, going around. Uh. So, so this is the area which is a very rich and luxurious city. Now, they were want to make a canal across it, but they have not been able to do so until quite late, you know, until the time when they completed the Swiss Canal. Now, those who went to Egypt, we went past the Swiss Canal. So the Swiss Canal engineers came by and they managed to cut a, 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 a what you call it, a channel right across it. Now. So I think we will be uh, looking at this when we go to Korean. Are we going there? Now? Corinna, huh? yeah. Now, uh, yes. So we will be uh, those of you who want to go, uh, uh, save some money. Let's all go, lah. Huh? This is a uh, typical area, huh? Okay. So uh, now we know that uh, the Corinth is the uh, center of the world commerce. Okay, next slide. It is also a place of a uh, great cultural and philosophical center. Huh? So we have, if you go to Corinth now, this is the old city. And uh, up there, they call the Acropolis. It's just like our Mount Kinabaluma. Huh? Massive. It's a massive piece of rock down there. And it's also here, they have this, uh, the temple of Aphrodite. 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 Aphrodite is up here. And uh, there are also uh, other temples. Uh, temple, the Apollos here. And then there is also the Brima. Huh? And the snake side, Brima. So, <clears throat> these are the archaeological sites and all these uh, are related to to our, uh, stud uh, our study of Book of Acts. Uh, I'm not going in today. Uh, they are uh, they're quite significant, uh, no? so I uh, don't have time to go through all this. Uh. Anyway, so this is Agora, the marketplace. This is where also our friend Paul met up with the Aquarius and then from there, Tent making, you know the story there, tent making, and then they survive. How by the tent making, and from there, they established a church uh, of one and a half years old there. Okay, so next slide. Now, besides being a cultural and philosophical center, it is also a center for immorality. I mentioned about the temple up up in the in the Acropolis down there. They have not only the temple of which the Aphrodite, they have this temple prostitutes, right? Huh? They come down in the evening and uh, they ply their trade and then with the, with the uh, money they, uh, they use to, to support the temple down there. And they are, they, 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 it's the guys of the, the worshipping to the, the, uh, the, the, the goddess of Aphrodite by having sex with the prostitutes. And so this area in uh, Corinth is also a very uh, debauchery uh, center. Lots of immorality down there. And then uh, people, uh, there's a term to, to refer to these people. They, he lives like a Corinthian. That means a person who is drunkard, who is immoral, who, 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 who just uh, have no work. 
Well, and then on the other hand, a cultural center, he speaks like a Corinthian style, a person who speaks very impactful uh, language or dialect of Greece. Uh, that is very astounding and a very, I do not know, I never heard it before, but I can imagine a very stylish uh, type of way of speaking. Uh. So anyway, so the city of Corinth is a city of uh, great uh, commercial uh, importance, cultural and uh, ph ph uh, philosophical center, so also immorality. Next slide, please.